now for what we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Yo, what's going on everybody? So today we actually have a really neat install, one that I have been waiting for a long time. Uh, we're actually gonna be installing a stainless works 7 8 headers. That's gonna be it right there. Yep. And that is gonna go. All right, so this, everybody, this is Chris. Hey. Some of you guys may remember Fumi from um, from the last video. If not, here's a reminder. All right, so Chris is actually going to be made the main person working on my car because y'all know that you know I don't I, I don't I don't know things. What are we doing? Jacking up the motor. Jacking up the motor. So we can take the motor mounts out. Okay. Okay. So first thing before we start, we're gonna take those couple of them off there all and these, kind of slip it down a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah, take all those headers off and then we might be able to get the impact in there and just blast it out. All right, so basically we're running into an issue. We can't get a certain screw off. Don't know how it's even... Oh, oh. yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a bolt, not a screw. Bolt. It's a bolt. <laughs> Shows you that I don't know things. All right, <laughs> so basically right on here. Can't get that bolt off. So what are we doing instead? We're gonna take off the headers. We're gonna take the headers through. off and lower the pipe and then we're gonna get it off with the impact. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So one note that I really do wanna make is this is not a how-to video. We're just doing it because, uh, well, I don't know things. So uh, again, not a how-to video, just trying to install it. We're taking off the engine mounts and uh, the engine mount brackets, and then that's going to give us clearance to take off the, the uh, manifold. And then uh, we'll be ready to put in the uh, headers. So this is the engine mount. After we move that out the way, we can reach the eight bolts and the headers. Advice for any S550 owners out there? Uh, what was the advice that you said earlier about that? <laughs> take the AC line off from take, the top first. Read the instructions. How about that? Chris at the beginning of this, oh, f the instructions, we don't need that. I still say f the instructions. They're just headers, no big deal. We don't need them. I've never worked on an S550 before, but we don't need them. Damn Ford. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Some discriminate. Some places are not supposed to be. <laughs> I don't discriminate. No. Ford, Chevy. There we go, there's another. Well, all right, here we go. Let's try to see if we can get this bolt now. Header out. <laughs> Hold. Yeah. It's a happy day. Uh, we need to take off the, or we need to kind of remove the engine mount. I already I unbolted so. everything. So on this side, so that right? Yeah, just on. Yeah, 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 yeah. That. That's what we needed to do. Eight bolts on this side, and then we'll be able to do the same thing that we did over here. Take all that off, and then after that, we put all that on there, and we'll be good to go. Adam is working on his Camaro over there. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna race one day. Stay tuned. We'll see. Finish your car. <laughs> Get it done. No. <laughs> I'm right here. Chris, bro. you're gonna get me killed. <laughs> so, uh, so we got that stuck. Hey, Chris, hold the light. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I've got it stuck so many times. <laughs> All right. So now we got both of the stock headers off. Got everything off of the car. Got it straight to the engine now. Got this one straight to the engine. Prepping the long tube. Trying to get the O2 sensors off of this. Just rip that shit off. <laughs> there you go. Look at you, He-Man Chris. There, there you go. And a monster. Let's see if I can 
get this one started. You know what? At least the O2 says she's gonna be easy to get to. Yeah, well. So one day, yes, uh, we will be racing. Me and uh, Adam, his 500 wheel horsepower Camaro versus my very, very stock. Well, not so much stock anymore, but uh, we're gonna race one day. He has his dyno tune, so he knows exactly what he's making. I don't know what I'm making. Probably after these long tubes and a tune. Chris, after these long tubes and a tune, to the wheel, how much do you predict do you think this car's gonna make? Less. Less? <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's probably at like 390-ish to the wheel, 395 to the wheel. And so long tubes and a tune, I'm thinking an extra 30 something horsepower. It's supposed to add an extra 35 to 45, supposedly. Yeah. So for those of you who are getting long tube headers and you're expecting crazy ass horsepower, don't expect it. Um, mainly doing it for the sound and a little bit of horsepower. All right, so believe it or not, I actually haven't picked up the camera in about an hour or so. But uh, we managed to go ahead and get both of the long tube headers in. And so, I don't know how well you can actually see it, but managed to get both of them actually in. All right, got passenger side, driver side. But what we're having to do now is we're trying to at least hand tight as much as we can the bolts in each one of them on the bottom side. And we're currently working on this one right now. And then what we're gonna try to do is lower down the car and then try to tighten in the rest of them from the, uh, from the top side because we still got about four bolts, two on each side that we haven't tightened down. Try to get those from the top side, get a wrench, an air wrench, hammer it down, and then we'll finish uh, with the cats and then the, the cat back. But um, hopefully it goes smoothly. It's currently, what time is it? It's 8.46, so uh, hopefully it goes well for any of those who are looking to do long tubes in the future. And if that's the reason you're watching this video, make sure you read the instructions. Get as much out the way as possible. Good luck on the bolt. Read the whole instructions before you start. Instructions on fire. After you've read them, be a light them on fire. Light them on fire and just do it. And that's why we're gonna be here till midnight or later. <laughs> we'll see. If we can finish before midnight, we'll have finished before that's the bottom. my original goal. So, um... Hey there, buddy. What you doing? You know, what you doing there? I see you're sticking your hand down there pretty far. So I just suck at this. <laughs> I think we all suck at this. Yeah, we're, none of us know what we're doing. Got two mechanics and we still can't get this shit done. I really just washed the cars. <laughs> <laughs> you're a cleanliness mechanic, so is that what you're saying? Yep. Alright guys, almost done. We had a little bit of struggles with the O2 sensors now after we got uh, all the bolts and everything put into place, so we've got everything mounted properly right there. Chris is gonna put back on the motor mounts real quick. We got the cats on there. Now we're just gonna install the X-pipe and we should be good to go. Yeah, keep in mind, it is now 11.20. Hopefully we're almost done, I am ready to go home. So for the longest, we were struggling with trying to figure out how exactly uh, we're gonna bolt down the um, the engine mount because uh, it was tightened, like super tight, but the Loctite was, was on there really good. It felt tight to us, but you could still move around the washer, and so we were we were struggling for the longest. We're doing it from the top instead of the bottom now, and so we were, we were able to lock down some of these, and we could actually get a light. We're actually working on this side. We got, now we've got the power tools and everything, but uh, I don't know how well you can see that, uh, that little bolt right there. That's what we're trying to lock down, or we just locked down that one. We got one more right there. Uh, once we finish putting those bolts on the bracket, plug back in the AC unit, connect the battery, do a couple other things I can't remember that we did that we took off. But after that, we should be done. I am tired, I am beat. I know my friend Chris, he's tired as hell. Uh, he's been doing the main whole thing, actually. <laughs> so we are finally done. We're putting the Freon, right? All right, so we're putting the Freon back in the car. It's pretty much it's pretty much done. We're just uh, waiting on a couple more things now. Just waiting for everything to. Um, I, I don't know what we're waiting on. We're basically done. We got everything bolted back on. Everything is squared away. Batteries put back in place. ACs back in. Start like that. That's doing its thing right now. Um, all the bolts are put down. Uh, just 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 everything, guys. It's super late. Uh, I got my phone charging over here because it pretty much died. But uh, as you can see. It is uh, 
12, 12.32. I mean, uh, 1.32. 1.32 a.m. Probably gonna start this thing up here very shortly. In the meantime, I want you guys to enjoy this clip. I shot this film, uh, this clip earlier. This is what the car sounded like, uh, for those of you who might know, when I first installed my X-Pipe. Uh, here's what that clip sounds like. And then this morning, I went ahead and did another one for you guys, a cold start and a, uh, and a little bit of a rev this morning. Uh, so here's what that one sounds like. And now for what we've all been waiting for. Uh, how does this thing sound once it is on with long tube headers? Stainless works, one and seven eighths inch long tube headers, SR Performance X pipe, and a Magnaflow axle back. Let's just, let's start her up. Let's see what it sounds like. There you have it. Long tube headers officially installed on the Mustang. We are done. I hope you had a good time. If you did, please hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. We're gonna have a lot more videos coming up. Huge shout out to my boy Chris. Chris, thank you so much. Chris, thank you. Thank you, Chris, don't run from me. <laughs> I know, but seriously, yeah. thank you so much. Um, without you, this, this, this really wouldn't have oh, happened. Because uh, I would have I been like $500 broker. I hope you had a good time. Like I said, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Come back and see what we got back in store next week. But until then, take it easy. I will see you guys later. Peace. It was, it was not fun at all. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was <laughs> visible, my hands hurt. <laughs>